I've come to find that I really enjoy cooking homemade meals for my family and friends as a thank you for all the love and support they've given me over the years. So this is a short video, well maybe not so short, it's about 12 minutes, of the entire process I went through to cook a rather large baked ziti for about four of my friends. Now I sped it up so it's not so mind numbing. So I'm going to go ahead and take you through the process first. I started with my vegetables. I diced up some sweet peppers and a sweet onion so I could saute it in the pan. And I also sliced up a nice little Roma tomato to go with it. Now the entire process took about two and a half hours start to finish. So I split it up into two different parts. I cooked my vegetables and beef the night before and stored it in the fridge. That way the next day all I had to do was prep out the pasta and mix it all together. a stainless pan so a little bit of olive oil helps give the vegetables some flavor and keep it from sticking to the pan. When you first put your vegetables into the pan you want to go ahead and move them all around and get them coated evenly in the olive oil. right here is a pot and pan holder I got from quadtools.com. It allows me to easily pinch the side of any pan as long as it has a lip around the edge. That way I'm able to manipulate the pan much easier. And now in goes the green wise ground beef. And when I say green wise, that means this animal was fed an all vegetable diet it was not injected with hormones or antibiotics, which for me is a must nowadays. I will not eat anything but green wise beef in my home. Just because it's the responsible thing to do and it's the change I can make. not look like it, but cooking like this is quite the workout on my arms. Now I put paper towels in the bottom of the cup to catch the grease that comes off of cooking the ground beef because I don't want to mix that into my pasta later on. So the napkins down in the bottom catch all of that so when I transfer it into another bowl all I get is the pure ground beef. I don't get any of the fat drippings to go with it which is fantastic and a lot healthier. Now when it comes to opening up jars, since my hands don't work, I was very lucky and found this automatic jar opener by Black & Decker at the farmer's market for a dollar. I am very glad I did not pass it up. 
all you do is plug it in, lift up the top, it opens up some jaws, you set the jar that you want to open inside of it, in between the jaws, and you push down on the top, and like magic it pinches the base, pinches the lid, and twists the lid off for you. Fantastic device for anyone with a limited grip in their hands and has trouble opening jars. And I chose this pot specifically for the handles with the loops in it so I'm able to put my thumbs through the hole and support the pot a lot better. And I always recommend putting the lid on it before you move a large pot full of water. I've taken a bath involuntarily in the past because I didn't put the lid on. So highly recommended to remember putting the lid on. Once you add the pasta to the boiling water, you want to make sure you stir it around with a spoon to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. And it only takes about 10 minutes or so to cook the pasta to however you would like it. Some people like it a little softer than others. It all depends on your taste. Now before I move this pot, I should have put the lid on it just for safety's sake because I could have easily spilt that scalding hot water on my lap. So try to do as I say and not as I did in this video. You are warned because boiling hot water can cause severe skin damage very fast. Now once I have my pasta cooked, I like to mix in, this is a garlic cooking cream by Philly, which is very delicious. So I usually put a couple scoops of that in, and then I follow it with some ricotta cheese, cheddar cheese, my vegetables, beef, and of course the spaghetti sauce or marinara sauce. and I make sure I mix it together really well.
once you have it all mixed together, you can either put it into a pan and bake it in the oven, or for me, since I can't really put the anything heavy in the oven that big, I just go ahead and put it back and let it simmer for a good hour or so. And then it's just a matter of cooking the garlic bread just before your guests arrive, and that's it. You're good to go. You have cooked a fantastic homemade dinner for you, your family, and friends. <laughs> That, so there you have it, a lovely gourmet, baked ziti style meal cooked by a man with no use of his hands. No, anyway, a delicious meal cooked for friends with love is what it's about for me at this point in time. And I just wanted to show you that it is possible, you know, even if you are paralyzed, to cook a fantastic homemade dinner. It takes a long time. Uh, I was a little smarter about it this time. The first time I prepared this dish, I did it all at once from start to finish and it wore me out. So this time I went through and I prepped my vegetables and my beef the night before. That way all I had to do was cook my pasta, combine my ingredients and let it simmer for a little over an hour. And it made the, the work much, much better to split it up. So much, so much easier today. And uh, yeah, like I said, you can do a quality, quality meal. It's just a matter of effort. Are you willing to put it in it? And you know, it's inside of me. It's inside of you. If you want it to be.